Why has flooding in Connecticut continued to get worse year after year? The answer is simple, sea level rise. The ocean is now five inches higher than it was in 1964. So now, Connecticut is like a bathtub filled close to the top. Small increases can push the water over the edge, into the streets, causing more and more flooding. We see this the most in winter months during nor'easters, those winter storms that push more water onto the coast. This can cause high tides to be over a foot and a half higher than normal high tides. This increase, added on top of five inches of sea level rise, can cause flooding even on sunny days. And it isn't just the higher tides from nor'easters. Rainstorms that used to simply flow down the drain now also cause floods. That's because the groundwater rises along with sea level, so there's less room underground for rain to flow into. If the drain fills up, rainwater fills the streets. Another big risk is how this worsens hurricane damage. When Hurricane Sandy hit our coast in 2012, it hit at high tide. That means hurricane flooding stays longer now, as the higher sea level slows the drainage of water from roads back to sea. FEMA studies have shown that every $1 spent protecting us today saves in recovery costs tomorrow. Our homes, schools, drinking water, streets, and cars need to be protected. With more water comes more costs. Cities and counties are spending more taxpayer dollars today trying to deal with rising seas. While this costs us money today, it is a smart investment.